Hello, this is Matt with 3G Store. Today we're going to be looking at how to conduct a site survey, which will help you determine if you're going to need an antenna at your location or if it's going to offer a benefit for you. So what you need to do is we actually have a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this at 3gstore.com forward slash RSSI. That stands for Receive Signal Strength Indicator. And that's going to load up a page, Will an Antenna Help Me? You can click on the Finding RSSI tab and we actually have screenshots for virtually all of the popular carriers, Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, etc. And how you can measure your RSSI values. With this tutorial, we're actually going to use a Verizon VZ Access Manager to demonstrate. What I like to do next is open up speedtest.net, which is a speed testing app, which uh, will directly correlate your performance versus your signal levels to help you determine what you can anticipate on getting with your antenna if you're going to get more speed or better latency etc. So I've got VZ Access Manager that I'm going to load up here and as you can see I'm already connected to the internet here and how we find the RSSI value through VZ Access Manager is simply run your mouse over the signal bars. You can see I'm sitting with a negative 69 dB signal level. Now that's actually a very good signal level on 3G Typically below negative 80 on the 3G network, you're not really going to see any type of improvement uh, with adding any type of antenna or amplifier. However, on the 4G network, that wall is around negative 65 dB. So if you're in a 4G area, you're looking for a negative 65 dB or lower. That's the range you want to be in. If you're above that range, meaning if I had say a negative 90 versus negative 80, the negative 90 is a worse signal. What you do is you test inside your home to see what your signal level is inside, then you just simply go outside your home, see if you're getting a better signal, and then you can go ahead and go over to speedtest.net, and what you're going to want to do is just simply click the begin test, and that's going to select the server based on your ping, and it's going to start off by doing a latency test. As you can see, I hit 90 milliseconds, which is actually really good for a 3G connection and that's basically indicating your communication from your computer to whatever server you're trying to connect to. So now it's doing the download test and as you can see I hit 1.2 megs down which is uh, on the higher end of the scale of what they rate the uh, connection to. Uh, for the upload there I get almost actually a meg on the upload speed so that's actually above average. For Verizon they typically quote 4 to 700 on the upload. And basically what you're looking for are the, the download, upload speeds, and your ping. And again, the rate speeds that I'm quoting as averages are just for the Verizon 3G network. Each carrier is going to have a different average that you can anticipate. Uh, you'll just need to verify that, which allows you to kind of gauge whether you're on the top side, the low side, or you're kind of in the middle of the average. And what the end goal by everything is to increase, obviously, your download speeds, your upload speeds, and uh, get your latency as low as possible. So when you launch the VZ Access Manager, in this case, again, I'm at a, let's see, what do I have here? A negative 69 dB signal strength right now. So as I said, that's a very good signal. If I was to walk outside, that may go down to a negative 65, but there's probably a 95% chance that it's really not going to equate to any difference in performance because my signal is already so good on the 3G network. But if you want to humor yourself, like I said, take it outside and uh, run that test and see if you start noticing that your download and upload speeds are consistently better. If they are, you know that you're going to benefit from an antenna. Now let's say you go outside of your home and you're really not noticing any difference in signal strength. Maybe you're negative 90 dB inside, maybe 90 outside, but you go drive say a quarter of a mile down the road and do a test and all of a sudden you're hitting a negative 80 dB. That is where you're going to need an antenna and an amplifier combo. The antennas themselves are only going to be as good as the signal strength directly outside your property. If you have to walk off of your property, that's where you're going to start noticing that you're going to need to add like an amplifier into the setup. And again, you want to always reference your speeds at these different areas 
and see exactly how much performance increase you're getting. Because just because you're increasing the signal, it isn't a guarantee that you're going to increase your download and upload speeds. Sometimes there is a limitation on the tower, and even if you increase your signal strength, you may not actually see an increase in speed just because there is a capacity issue. But in most cases, the more you increase your signal by, again, negative 80 on the 3G network and negative 65 on the 4G network, the closer you get to those numbers, typically the more performance that you're going to see out of that device. We highly advise running these tests prior to ordering equipment or contacting us in regards to an antenna. This information definitely gives us an idea of exactly what type of equipment is going to be the most beneficial for you at your location. And after you have all the data from your testing inside, outside, to where you get a negative 80, you can go back to that 3gstore.com forward slash RSSI page, and you can simply click on interpreting the results, which basically breaks down all of the different uh, options and what type of equipment we typically recommend within a scenario. Or you can just contact us directly. We're here 9 to 7 Central Time, Monday through Friday. The number is 866-347-8673. Just choose option two for pre-sales. And we'll be more than happy to discuss the results with you and make a recommendation on the best type of equipment for your scenario. Thank you.